Hello, Buckeye Nation. I'm back, which means Buckeye football is right around the corner. I am so excited to get pumped up with you all this college football season, and I have a massive prediction coming at the end of this video, so you're gonna wanna stick around till the end. Let's talk some Buckeye football after the intro. Welcome to Buckeye Football Fangirl. My name is Lisa and I'm the gal behind this channel. If you bleed scarlet and gray like I do, then you are in the right place. I started this channel five seasons ago to share my unbridled Buckeye passion with all of you lovely folks, and it's honestly changed my life. I love geeking out over Buckeye football with all of you, so thank you so much for taking a moment to watch these videos. I've got a feeling about this year. This year is shaping up to be something special, and I have a feeling it's gonna be one that we all remember. There are five things that make me so excited when thinking about this team. First of which, this team is returning an absolutely unfair trove of talent. Like, it's just not fair to every other team out there how many players came back last year that could have declared for the NFL draft. Now, I'm not complaining about this advantage, but I'm just saying, Ohio State is a team made up of studs. Studs who could be playing on Sundays instead of Saturdays, but they chose to come back for one more year of the brotherhood. And that's not even including everyone else on the team. All of the juniors, the sophomores, and freshmen who we expect will make an impact this year. The level of talent on this team is ridiculous. Another thing, this secondary is hands down the best in the nation. You guys, this is the part of the team that excites me the most. Watching them in action as they deflect passes and haul in interceptions this year is going to be so stinking fun. They've got confidence, swagger, attitude, and the athleticism to back it all up. And I just cannot wait. Burke might just be my favorite player on the team. And I love what we've heard about Igbenosin kicking things up a notch and taking his smack talk and his game to another level. Then throw in Lathan Ransom, Jermaine Matthews Jr., Jordan Hancock, and who am I forgetting? Oh yeah, Caleb freaking Downs. Caleb freaking Downs, guys. This just ain't fair, y'all. If Hartline says this is the best group of defensive backs that he's seen in the past decade, then I am inclined to believe him. And I am already salivating, thinking about the SmackDown they are about to lay on opposing teams this season. My third thing, the QB room has some options. Now, Ryan Day just made the announcement earlier in the week that Will Howard locked up the starting QB position, which shouldn't have come as a surprise. Were you surprised by this announcement? If you were, go ahead, comment down below, because in all honesty, during the off season, I kind of took a massive break from keeping my hand on the pulse of Buckeye football, so I may have missed some of the sentiments of all you wonderful Buckeye fans out there. It was a busy, busy summer, y'all. You might not know this, but I was born and raised in Northeast Ohio. However, I now live in LA. So I'm out here most of the time, but I do spend my summers in Ohio and I have a son and that gives him a chance to really just soak up his time with his grandparents and other family members who still live in Northeast Ohio. Plus it gives us a little bit of a break from the city life. This summer while we were there, I massively unplugged from Twitter and podcasts partially because I needed the break, and then partially because it was a summer that was filled with so much activity. But I'm back and I am energized after that much needed break and so ready for this Buckeye football season to get here. But back to the quarterbacks, we have a long season ahead of us with the new playoff format and having a deep quarterback room is not a bad thing. Now, granted, game time performance of some of the guys in the wings has been a bit hit or miss. So there is a giant question mark as to what things will look like if the next man does have to step up. But with a rumored massively improved offensive line this year, I am feeling a little bit better about how they'll hold up than I did going into last year. Fourth, 
we have the best backfield one-two punch in Trevion Henderson and Quinshawn Judkins. I think Trevion is going to show us another gear this year, and I really think he's putting all the pieces together and is ready to turn on the burners. And Judkins, I cannot wait to see him in action on the field. Using both of these backs is just unfair, guys. It's just unfair, and I love it. I wouldn't wish it to be any other way. And not to mention, behind those two, Peoples is rumored to be looking super solid too, along with Williams Dixon. In fact, Coach Lachlan called them slashers, and I like the sound of that. With the longest season in history ahead of us, this is a good thing to have. And finally, Ryan Day is finally CEO. Having Chip Kelly to run the offense frees Day up to be full-time CEO, which the team needs him to be doing that. They need him setting the overall tone and direction for the team, and they will be better off for it. Chip Kelly has major experience and insight that the Buckeye offense can leverage, and I cannot wait to see how things are different on the field this year with him there. Okay, here's a little bonus prediction for you all. I also think that TTUN is not going to have a good season this year, and it is going to be glorious to see the hammer will drop on them. And while the timing of that is still up in the air, I am going to enjoy every single moment of that. I am still bitter over the past two years, and I probably will be forever. They stole the joy of my first game in the shoe with my dad and my son. They deserve everything that comes their way as punishment, and I never want to see them win, so watching them have a year that is not great will feel great. This brings me to my overall prediction for the year. I think the Buckeyes are going to win it all. This year is their year, guys. This is the team. They have the weapons, they have the coaches, they have the schedule to make it happen, and I predict that this year it all falls in place for them and they finally bring home that natty that we've been waiting for. It's gotta be this year. The team is hungry, hungry to get those gold pants and to win it all. That's what all these studs have come back to do. And I predict they're gonna get it done. With the Buckeyes gearing up for an incredible run in front of them and those cheaters up north on the decline, this might be the single best year of college football ever. All right, that's all I've got for you. I want to hear what you are excited about. So go ahead, drop me your comments below. I really want to know, what are you excited about? What are you looking forward to? What would be your five things that make you most excited heading into this 2024 season? All right, thank you so much for tuning in. I will be back with one more video before we have this season kicking off, and I will do my normal preview video as well before the first game. All right, I'll catch you on the other side of those videos. O-H.